Jackson with Foley. I'm looking for... Hello. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Police Department. To continue this message in English, press one pound. If you have homeless people on your lawn, press two star. So what brings you to California, Axel? Vacation? I'm looking for a killer. One, please. We got some evidence that points to one in the world. Thank you. Thank you. You mean Rufus Rabbit has gone berserko? You got yourself in the middle of a federal investigation. That guy killed the police officer. He killed a friend of mine. You just keep him out of my face and out of my park. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a tremendous surprise for Mr. DeWall to have me standing right next to him right now. You know, right now I can feel his body tingling. Bring that man down. Code red on the spider. Hold on tight. I can tell Axel. Hey, hey, hey. Officers, I want this man arrested. I'm sure you can explain everything, or maybe you can't explain anything. You're going back to Detroit. You've got to turn yourself in, man. Why is it so hard for you all to see there's something rotten going on at that park? Kill him. Go, go, go! I don't believe this, Ahmed! Oh, wait, funny, how you doing? Serge, right? I'm like that by your new look. Look Thank at your you skin. Very and Thank your you. hair. And then finally you have black hash poopies, which are totally retro, which I love. You, you put a really good package together. Hello, my name's Axel Foley. I'm looking for... Hello. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Police Department. Detective Axel Foley is back. Trust me on this one, okay? And he's in for the ride of his life. To continue this message in English, press one pound. For Spanish, press two star. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. For Farsi, press three pound. Rated R. It's on May 25th at theaters everywhere. Remain seated at all times. Bring that man down. Keep your hands inside the car. Because this... Go! No ride in the park. I thought you said they had no guns. They must have changed their worldview. Don't forget, we play by the rules around here. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Nah. Trust me on this one, okay? Beverly Hills Cop 3. Rated R. It's on May 25th at theaters everywhere. Eddie Murphy is Axel Foley. So what brings you to California, Axel? I'm looking for a killer. And he's in for the ride of his life. But you said they had no guns. Must have changed the worldview. Kill him. Axel. 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 Trust me on this one, okay? Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3, rated R. It's on May 25th everywhere. Axel Foley. Kill him. Bring that man down. He's back. I'm looking for a killer. You're going back to Detroit. Go, go! Trust me on this one, okay? Eddie Murphy. Uh, what? Beverly Hills Cop 3. I'm like dazzled by your new look. You have black hash poopies, which are totally retro, which I love. Uh, you, you put a really good package together. Rated R. It's on May 25th every... right? Sales. Sales. In the wrong place. Oh, how you doing? Is this the illegal chop shop? At the right time. Hey, hey, hey. You just keep him out of my face. Ah! Out of my park. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. One, please. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Rated R. It's on May 25th everywhere. Foley is back. Surge, right? Sales. Sales. In the wrong place. Oh, how you doing? Is this the illegal chop shop? At the right time. Hey, hey, hey. You just keep him out of my face. Ah! Out of my park. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. One, please. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Commences Thursday to all the four cinemas. This summer. How you doing? Is this the illegal chop shop? The action never stops. Oh, you said they had no guns. Hey, hey, hey. The excitement. Go, go! Never ends. And the ride <gasps> is better than ever. Hold on tight. Are you okay? You're going back to Detroit. 
Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. Trust me on this one, okay? Rated R. It's on May 25th everywhere. This summer. That's Bill by Tingling. Go, go, go! Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3, rated R. Starts Wednesday, May 25th. This summer, Axel, Axel, Hawk, Foley? Detective Axel Foley is back. I don't believe it. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. Trust me on this one, okay? Rated R. Starts Wednesday, May 25th. This summer, oh, Eddie Murphy is back. I'll kill him. Beverly Hills Cop 3, rated R. It's on now at theaters everywhere. Axel's back. And the critics agree. Smashing. Hilarious. It's a fun-filled roller coaster ride. Axel. Axel. Trust me on this one, okay? Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3, rated R. It's on now at theaters everywhere. Axel Foley is back. Ah! Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 3, rated R. It's on now at theaters everywhere. Eddie, I've always been fascinated with movies that actors don't wind up making. Now, is it true that at one time you pitched an idea to Francis, Cord, uh, Francis Ford Coppola about doing Godfather 3? Yeah, we wanted to do something with, you remember a gangster named Nicky Barnes? He was a big gangster out of Harlem, a big drug dealer, and I, his, his story was real interesting. And uh, we wanted to incorporate his story with a uh, contemporary, uh, like, uh, mob like family like story and uh, just never came together yeah. and didn't you also talk with with Leonard Nimoy about doing uh, one of the Star Trek movies too Did oh yeah yeah I, I wanted to I wanted to be in one of the Star Trek I still want to do a Star Trek movie well, I'm, I'm a Trekkie sure. and I've always uh, wanted to beam up or uh, <laughs> shoot a Klingon or, you know, have Kirk go yeah. come on you know to me I've always wanted to be part of the crew uh, yeah. Now, if I play with a dilithium crystal, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, a few years ago, uh, Bill Murray did the movie uh, Razor's Edge, mm -hmm. and he got a lot of flack for being a comic who did a dramatic role. And I thought he did a good job. But I'm just wondering, how much resistance have you met when you've talked about doing, say, a straight drama like, like Fences? I haven't met any resistance. Uh... Fences is something that uh, the director is, we're trying to get the right director, you know, and get the right director with the right writers to write the screenplay that August likes and everybody is getting a bunch of people uh, involved with a project that everybody wants to see be great and all that, and the, the, the writer is what won the Pulitzer Prize, so it's uh, getting all the right ingredients. And that's the only uh, serious thing I've ever had in development, I think. Now, I know you live uh, on the East Coast, but you were in L.A. when the earthquake hit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how did that affect you, and how did that affect the production? Uh, it affected me. I left L.A., and that's it. We had like a day and a half left to shoot, but the stuff we were shooting was special effects stuff. Up in the, Did you see the movie yes, yet? Yeah. The stuff when uh, I'm jumping from thing to thing. Okay. Some of that stuff was shot on the stage, some of the close-up stuff, and uh, I was on the ceiling like 20 feet, 30 feet in the air on wires, so we couldn't shoot it, that anyway, so they cut around it. And you know what, they didn't even need that footage. Can you imagine we had that extra day? They cut 20 minutes out of that sequence anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the elections in uh, South Africa mm -hmm. with Nelson Mandela, and I know you've met him before, but is it true when, when you met he recognized you, that he had, he had known about you before he had ever met you. He said, when he saw, when he saw me, he said, Eddie, he said, uh, your movies were a great source of inspiration in prison. That's what he said to me, and he hugged me. And I was like, wow, he actually knows who I am? 
He's actually watched my movies and I made this man laugh and it moved me deeply, you know. That was a high point, you know, for me. Now our next movie, and uh, we're staying pretty dumb. It's Beverly Hills Cop 3, and in a word, I think it's dreadful. And it's kind of sad to watch because Eddie Murphy is this giant-sized talent who continues to, like, to select one bad script after another. What a waste. Please Once again, he plays see. smart aleck Detroit cop yeah, Axel Foley, although he's so laid back in this tired. picture, it's hard to imagine what made him so exciting in the original the film. Balls. Here Murphy lays out the premise That's of the story to his old West Coast so. partner, played by Judge Reinhold, and Reinhold's boy. colleague, Hector Elizondo. I'm looking for a killer. In Beverly Hills? No, Wonder World. What, Wonder World? You mean Rufus Rabbit has gone berserko? <laughs> no, my boss got gunned down in the chop shop. Once Murphy is out in California at an amusement park chasing cop killers, Beverly Hills Cop 3 really gets dull. The only spark of interest, a brief romantic interlude with a park security employee played by Teresa Randall. All park accesses are unrestricted to park personnel. Well, except for the happy forest, and that's closed while it's being redone. Show me the happy forest. Oh, that would be right here at the end of Corridor B. It's right after, uh... It's right after, uh... How long has it been closed? Too long. Oh, I'm talking about the happy forest, right? Eddie Murphy is absolutely restrained in Beverly Hills Sorry. Cop 3. I think there has been a decision yeah. in his camp yeah. or in his mind that he should present himself now as a kinder, gentler character when what everybody wants from him is the smart aleck or the romantic lead. All of the excitement has gone out of this series. Murphy does not help himself working, I think, with John Landis, a tired director, judging from this effort. Eddie Murphy needs to take his movie career more seriously. And boy, we've both been saying that for years. Yeah, although it's odd that he's a little more gentle here because after all, in Beverly Hills Cop 2, we accused him of being too over the top in the other direction. So maybe he could say, gee, I can't get it quite right for you yes, guys. Yes, he can't. Uh, yes, he can. Okay. Yes, he uh, can. One thing that I didn't like, uh, it's like a video game, especially in the shootout in the amusement park. People pop up, they get shot, they fall over. You completely lose track of how many oh, bad guys there well, are. The... Um the thing that bothers me was the whole decision to put it in the amusement park. They have it this uh, juvenile uh, amusement park, and as a result, it is very soft, and it is not funny to see Eddie Murphy with the, you know, the, in the costume yeah, characters. Of course, it really makes sense that counterfeiters would hide their press inside a tree in an amusement park, doesn't it?